friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 13 of my 2017 holiday card series. Today I'm using this Christmas Kitties stamp set by Gerda Steiner Designs as well as the Doodlebug Milk and Cookies 6x6 paper pad. I've stamped out the images I wanted to use on some Copic friendly cardstock using Memento Tuxedo Black ink and that's because I wanted to color with my Copics today. And the first colors that I'm using are YG05, YG07, and YG09. And I'm going to turn the paper so it's a little more comfortable for me to color. And what I'm going to do is just take the YG09 and do a quick line down the center of each of these branches. Since they're so skinny, there's not a lot of room for coloring. And then I'm going to go right over top of that with the YG07 and kind of just um, laying it down just a little bit thicker. And then lastly with the YG05 the same way and that way I'll get a nice blend and add some color without going too far outside the lines. So this particular card is actually my Christmas card to my dear friend Carrie who is KW Card Design here on YouTube and she has two cats one of them is named Katie and she is a Russian blue and so I wanted to color this cat to look like Katie. So I wanted to use some cool grays to mimic her um, coloring. I'm using C0, C1, C3, and C5. And I'm going to be coloring darkest to lightest. So I took that C5 first and just laid in my darkest shadows all around the outside edge of her face, around the paws since they're in front of her face and they'd be casting a shadow. The same with her little feet and then on the back of her tail since her feet are in front of it there would also be a shadow there. Then I blended out with the C3 and then I'm moving down to the C1 and I'm just being really careful to blend out all the edges really well. I don't want there to be any harsh lines because I want her to look really soft and fluffy. I'll also shade a little bit on the bottoms of her feet with that C1 and on the tops of her paws and then I'll move down to the C0, just going carefully around her eyes and then filling all the rest of the parts in that I left blank for the highlight. For her Santa hat, I'm using my favorite red combo, R29, R39, and R59. And I'm taking the R59 first and just putting a dark shadow right on the edge where that white brim is folded up and then blending out with the R39 and then the R29. And then I decided just to do something a little bit different for a change, and so I added in the R24. So there's actually four colors there, and that just made it a nice kind of soft, pinky highlight. That R24 has a lot of pink in it. Um, so that will just uh, change up the look from what I usually do and just make it a little bit softer so it goes with the fluffy kitty. I'm also going to use those same shades to color in the broken ornament that is down on the bottom. And I'm shading them darkest to lightest from the bottom up so the part that is closest to the floor would hit the light the least. So that's why it would be the darkest. And then the lightest shade will be on those top jagged edges that are up towards the light. For one of the ornaments, I'm going to use BG13, BG15, and BG18. So I'm making a little backwards C shape, um, just a little bit away from the edge, and that's going to cast a shadow to make it look nice and shiny. And then I'm going to blend out with the BG15, and then a little bit with the BG13. And then I did decide to add the BG11 in there as well for a little bit of a highlight and so that's going to go in that top left corner there because that's kind of the direction that my light source is coming from same on the cat's hat there i'm also doing a little tip to tip blending so i'm taking that bg11 and pulling a little bit of color off the bg13 marker to just help smooth that transition and then I will also take the BG11 to do my shading on the white parts of the Santa hat. And I'll bring in the BG10 to help smooth that out and fade it towards white. For the last ornament, I'm using RV21, RV23, and RV25. 
and I'm coloring it the same way that I did the previous one. I'm just doing that kind of backwards C shape with the darkest shade and then blending out with the RV23 and then leaving the RV21 for my highlight. And I felt like there wasn't enough contrast, so I just went back with a double layer of each of those colors. And then I went on to color in the little pads of the kitty's feet with that RV21. I'm also going to color in her nose and give her some rosy cheeks just to make her look extra cute. And I will also put a little flick in her ear to give the little pink there as well. For the tops of my ornaments and the inside of the broken one, I'm just taking a little bit of C1 and then that wasn't quite dark enough so I grabbed a little bit of the C3 and just added a hint of that as well and then blended that back out with the C1 just to make everything nice and smooth again. So I liked this kitty image so much that I decided to make two more. So off camera I colored a white cat and a black and white tuxedo cat. And then I'm going to take the MFT stitched scallop squares and I'm going to die cut each of those out. I also trimmed out all my pattern papers and laid out my cards assembly line style. And now I'm going to take some liquid glue and I'm going to add that to my card base. Put a good amount on there so that I can just layer my first pattern paper right down on top of that. And I did use the Lawn Fawn Stitched Square Stackables for that, as well as the Stitched Simple Hillside Borders, and I just turned it upside down so I could get a nice curved line with that stitching detail. So I'm going to layer this piece of pattern paper right over top, make sure that's lined up nice and straight, and then I can take my focal panel and I can just add some more liquid glue to that. I'm going to center that on the polka dot piece and then I'm going to take the frame that it die cut from the white pattern paper and I'll save that for another project and instead I'm going to replace that with this little um, snowflake print and I'm just adding a few dots of glue around the outside edges and then I can just fit that down right over top and I am going to set an acrylic block on top of that just to help it dry. And I'll assemble the other two cards exactly the same. For the inside panel, I'm taking a piece of white cardstock that I trimmed out with the Lawn Fawn Outside In Stitched Square Stackables. And I'm going to stamp an additional kitty and my inside sentiment with the Lawn Fawn Celery Stick Ink. And that says, Meowy Christmas. Then I'll just take a little bit more liquid glue and go ahead and adhere that down to the inside so it has that nice little border all around the outside edge with the green cardstock. And there's a look at each of the three cards now fully assembled. Super cute with those pattern papers. As a final embellishment, I'm going to take my favorite crystal stickles and just add a little bit of shimmer to my Christmas ornaments. Um, both to the two that are hanging from the branch and also to the broken one at the bottom, just to the two larger pieces. And then I'm also going to add a little bit to the whites of the Santa hat. So I'll do the same on all three cards. And if you'll notice, I did switch up the colors of the ornaments on each of the card. Even though I use the same three shades, I changed the position of each color just to keep them a little bit different and unique. And that is going to complete our cards for today. I'm going to lift it up to the light so you can see all that shimmer and shine. So pretty. I love this crystal stickles and how it just kind of takes on the color of whatever you put it over. And there's another peek at the inside and our cute meowy Christmas sentiment. Really, really cute. I really enjoyed using this set. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber already. I have lots of exciting things planned for 2018. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these three kitty cards was your favorite. I always love reading all your opinions. Here's two extra cards from last year's Christmas card series, so hopefully those will tide you over until the next one. Until then, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.